Well, good day, good day, dear chess lovers. Surin here, and as you can see right now, on my table is lying another vintage chess computer, which is Slice's Travel Mate, produced in 1983. On speciousmind.com, you can read everything you need to know about this computer. And meanwhile, I want to play a game of chess against it. Let's turn this on and see how it goes. So now we should press new game and select a level. This has four levels, but I will play against the second play second level because in this case the computer is not thinking too much. Otherwise, we will spend a whole day playing against this beast. So let me open the game with e2 to e4 and wait for opponent's reply. It's a portable travel mate, pretty nice one. And let's see what's going to be the computer's response. So we have e7 and e5. Wow, nice. Guys, I want to play an interesting chess and let's go for an aggressive King's Gambit. I know you all love King's Gambit. Let's bring back the old, good old days. King's Gambit is on the board, meanwhile we have King's Gambit accepting it. Not bad, my dear friend. So, and now let's go for 9f3. What's going to be your response, sir? Sizes travel mate. From time to time I will also put a 2d board for the better view of the position. Meanwhile, what do we have? d7 to d5 not bad you know this is a good move this is a good move i will capture on d5 but uh, the way the computer looks is very beautiful i really like the design for 1983 this is simply great hey man are you going to make a move we have uh, what do we have so what is the computer going to play is this queen queen d5 right yeah absolutely absolutely now let's go for d2 to d4 and then i will kick away this guy with c4 uh, i'm in my preparations i know this line pretty well and i want to crush this guy yeah all i want is to crush this guy so did you make a move sir it shows the seven frank what is this the what is this? The knight or what? No, it's not the knight. So let me figure this out. So it shows the... Ah, it shows the bishop. Sorry, I didn't see this coming. Bishop goes to d6. Uh, well, it's, it's a good move. It's a good move. Now I will go for c2 to c4. Travel mate is protecting the pawn on f4. And now... I'm going for c4, hitting black queen. Now if queen e4, then I will play king f2. This is a home preparation, guys. This is a home preparation. Well, and he goes for it. Queen e4 check, which I will answer with, to which I will respond with king f2. Come on, man, come on. And then bishop d3, rook e1 check is coming. Bishop d3, rook e1 is coming. The computer is thinking, oh, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. What's your response, sir? It says, it shows the, uh, what is this? Oh, okay, the knight. It shows the knight, so knight f6, not bad. Let me play bishop d3. Bishop d3 is on the board. And where are you going to put your queen? Queen c6 maybe, queen goes to c6, yeah, and now let me announce this pretty check, let me go for it, what are you going to do, bishop e7, I really like my position, I really like my position, 
I will now castle by hand and it's great. King? I chose the king. Now it chose bishop to e6. Oh my goodness. This is not good. This is definitely not good. Because with d5 I can I can crush this guy. Well, you can announce a check, but what about king f1? Yeah, this is definitely not good. Are you going to give up a piece for two pawns? You can. You can, but... Well, it, it says knight takes d5. Well, I'm pretty... So, oops, 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 sorry. There it goes. C takes d5. You need to learn how to play against King Scambit, sir. What? Queen takes? Queen takes my pawn. And now? Let's go for it. the knight development. Why not? Why not? This is a good move. Developing my knight with a tempo. Yeah, also, I want to beat this. Win this pawn on f4. I don't like it. But how can we do it? So, the computer will definitely announce a check from c5. Right? Yeah. Check from c5. And let me move back my king on f1. And now are you going to castle? Yeah, you can castle. No problem. You can castle, but then I will play knight e4, removing your bishop. Go on, man, go on. Okay, it says knight, knight to c6. No, well, knight to c6, okay. I want to play a move like knight e4. Why not? I want to grab the bishop on d6. Well, the bishop is placed nicely, protecting the pawn on f4. If only I can win the pawn on f4, I will solve all the problems. Go on, man! Uh, it says queen from c5 to b4. Oh. Uh, what about the move like bishop d2? Shall we play a move like bishop d2? Well, we can. We can. Yeah, absolutely. If queen takes b2, then bishop c3. Although I think that a3 was also a good move. a3 was also great. Go on, man. Go on. Queen. Oh, it, it's grabbing my... Am I missing something? What about bishop c3? What about bishop c3? Well, I think... Uh, a3 was better. Yeah, a3, knight takes d6, bishop takes f4 was even stronger. Yeah, definitely. I made a mistake. So it will move the queen to here. And now, what next? So, yeah. Now, I will go for here. Yeah, and the knight f6 can be a nasty threat. This is a total destruction, dear chess lovers. This is a total destruction. Man, you can already resign. Surrend crushed you. So, it's playing rook from h8 to g8. What about knight f6 check? King d8, right? King d8, knight takes g8. Holy God. Holy moly. 
that was terrible man that was terrible king from here to oh no may may wait wait oh to e7 okay no worries no worries let me play knight from here to here well he will recapture well he will recapture with the rook and what's next what's going to be my response i don't know i have no idea where should i put my bishop i have no idea where to put my bishop you know i have no idea well uh we can actually go for a simplification it's not bad bishop d5 looking for simplifications well yeah i have a huge material advantage and i should go for simplifications no uh, it's it says bishop to c5 yeah well no bishop to e5 okay it's exchanging now comes knight takes e5 what next what's next so yeah uh, i'm doing great no problem at all and yeah and let me recapture with my rook so yeah absolutely absolutely winning an absolutely winning position an absolutely winning position well age well why should you move it why are you moving that man why are you moving it let's play here well what queen b3 can we play a move like queen b3 okay okay now it's okay now it's okay queen b3 offering the exchange of queens i have an extra rook why should i bother i don't care queen takes okay so yeah we are exchanging and let me well uh, i could actually find some beautiful mating lines but okay let's just simply beat this guy it's hard to follow you know it's hard to follow the board moreover what is this it shows f6 no rook to here oh sorry rook a8 oh my goodness that's terrible rook a8 is terrible that's a terrible move sir okay let's exchange the bishops as well and it's over guys i don't know whether i should stop the game or what is this ah uh, come on man this is already totally winning yeah yeah the computer started making stupid moves in the opening still it was okay but then but then everything collapsed okay discover check i could switch my rook as well here yeah it's over absolutely over what is this b7 to b6 here okay yeah i don't know i should stop this massacre maybe 
Okay, another waiting move is we have a queen on the board. So we have a queen on the board. What else? Here, here, okay, here. Now where is the checkmate? Check and and checkmate is on the board. There it goes, guys. The game is over. I announced the checkmate. Well, this is it, dear chess lovers. I hope that you enjoyed this game. Let me turn this off, and that's it. I announced the checkmate in an unequal battle. This was fun, and this computer is actually a lot of fun. What I'm thinking is organizing a match between this guy and this one. What do you think? This can be a pretty interesting battle, right? Leave your comments, please, and let me know what do you think about this match. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Take care!